Welcome everyone. It's a new set release, so you all know what that means. It's time to open S1A of VMAX Rising. What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're opening S1A uh, VMAX Rising, new Japanese set, just dropped on Friday in Japan. It's Monday and I've already got the box. If my DHL depot was still open on Sundays, I would have had this yesterday, but we are going to get into this box and show you what this new set consists of. There is a the back, there is a the front. I've taken the liberty of taking the packs out. I'm going to keep them in order, left and right, top to bottom, as they were, how I pulled them. For those of you interested in where the pulls are, here's what it looks like inside. And we have got obviously all the evolved starters as basic VMAXs in this set. It's going to be extremely interesting, 70 cards plus. So we're going to start with the right hand side, top to bottom. Uh, very interesting to see that this box, I've seen a few openings, 30 common, 23 uncommon, 8 hollows, 6 V cards, 3 VMAX cards, several SRs, HRs, and there's obviously URs as well. I'm not sure of the totals of those, but um, I can't remember off the top of my head. But the interesting statistics, the statistics on this particular set are that you will get at least two VMAX, uh, SR, one SR or better, and at least four V cards. Now that has proven to be, um, I've seen some with eight, a lot of boxes with eight hits in. Now whether that's five V cards or three VMAX or even two SRs, it's been a mixed bag. So a lot of people have been getting those. Ooh, Vickervolt Hollow, nice one to begin with. And as you can see, the sword and shield hollow pattern continues. Uh, that is with us for this era. As you know, each era of um, Pokemon has its own unique hollow pattern, and um, this is no different. Uh, so yes, this set is very nice indeed. I've seen a few openings. This is a very, very useful trainer card. Water bucket. Um, I think it allows you to search for up to two water energy from your deck, and then you can use um, Frost Moth to apply those water energy to your Pokemon as many times as you like throughout the turn, which is very nice indeed. So a very nice um, trainer card indeed. Some beautiful artwork in here. Is that Mr. Mime or Mr. Rhyme? I'm not too sure. Charger Bug. And ooh, there we go. There is our first VMAX card, which is uh, Inteleon VMAX. And the wonderful VMAX Full art style patterns continue with this. Look at the amazing texturing. Very nice indeed. And it's a lot more subtle than the English VMAX is. When you feel it, it is very, very subtle indeed. So I'll pop that to the back here for now. I'll sleeve everything up later. I do try and keep these videos as streamlined for you guys as possible, which is why I always cut the packs prior to um, doing the video. Beautiful magic up there. And um, Skylar's back as well, but she's not in a full art form. She's already had two full arts, so she doesn't need another one. Uh, well, Lily had three, so <laughs> could argue that case. Um, but yeah, I do try and keep the video times as efficient as possible for you guys. Oh, fantastic Shibu. Uh, Shibuzu artwork there, which is quite distinct as always. And this is, is this Galarian Corsola? I'm not too sure. I always forget these things. It is a Galarian Corsola. So very nice hollow there. We'll pop that at the back. So two hollows so far, I think. Oh, I'm storming through this side already. So we'll see what we have here. Um, as mentioned already, this Mitsuhiro Arita artwork, this pose does um, imitate Charizard from base set pose. Go and check the cards out. Um, I think the first person who mentioned that was ADV Jim to me uh, when I saw that on his post. Very, very true indeed. It does very much so imitate that so um, Mr. Erita-san paying homage to that artwork okay uh, Arcanine, Natu, we got our Honage, Grubbin and we have a Surfetched is it? I'm pretty sure it's a Surfetched Galarian Surfetched yeah so uh, a very nice leak there in its hand so yep all like a bit of leek and potato soup <laughs> I'm sure right uh, we'll move on to the next pack 
we have a Diggers B. Uh, Galarian Fall Fetched. Oh, something. I forgot what his name is. Is it Helioptile or something? I can't remember what that one was. Heliolisk, I think it was. Um, oh, this is an Indeedy. I still have another Indeedy um, V card for Nahalia in English. And this stadium here is. Oh, gosh, what is it? It's Hops Back Garden, isn't it? Training Court. So if you've played the game, you'll know that that looks very familiar. It's where you choose your starter Pokemon in Hops Back Garden. So it is that indeed. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is a Toxtris Toxtricity. Uh, very nice card. I think Toxtricity is getting its, its own uh, V card very soon. Now this guy, I love this little guy here. I think this is, oh God, it's an Impidimp, which is a very cheeky little Pokemon. And we have uh, Dragapult. Yep, Dragapult. Hollow. So, doing pretty well with the hollows there. Single V card yet, we've got a V Max. I uh, wonder when we're going to get some more. Maybe this side of the box is quite thin on light on those. Hortula, uh, we have the uh, uh, Morgrum. Morgrum is what that's called. The Stadium, oh my gosh, this is um, a Milo Stadium, which is. Turfield. Is it Turfield Stadium? Okay. Uh, Four more packs on the right hand side of the box. We surely have to hit something very soon. Um, right, this isn't Mr. Mime, this is Mr. Rhyme, I think. Because we've already had Mr. Mime, haven't we? Galerian Mr. Rhyme. Ah, oh, that thing. That's a Helioptile. It's Apple. And uh, Sandaconda, I think. Uh, Sandaconda V? Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, so that's our first V-card. Have a look at that there. Very nice indeed. And obviously it's got some very nice... I like the way the V-cards have got a sort of lifted, glossy finish to them. Which is uh, quite unique and quite nice actually, to be fair. Right, we have... Uh... What does Natu evolve into? Oh my god, my mind is going blank today. I've just come back from work. It's a Zatu. Oh, so I started work at 4.30 this morning. I've been up since like before 3 a.m. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as I could. This is Milo. There is a full art version of Milo. Sonia full art is obviously the chase card that I am after. Talking of Sonia, here she is. Full art, just a regular full art for me, please. Thank you very much. That'd be nice if you've got it in this box. Uh, but we do not know. So, last pack of this side of the box. Let's see what we have got. We have got a Butterfree. Um, the Dracloak. Rowlith. Um, yeah, it's a fish of some sort. Uh, a Rakuda. A Barracuda. And Apple Pie, which is Appleton. Appleton. Appleton at the back there. So that's the first half of the box done. I'll move these cards to one side. We'll move them just over there. Get to the second half. So, left hand side. Let's move these packs to the floor. Left hand side, top pack. Let's go, Diggersby. We have a Honage again, I think. Uh, this cute little guy, which evolves into Toxicity Toxe. Love that guy, Grubbin. And we have a little scarf to put around our Growlithe's neck which is a uh, burning scarf. Next one, uh, let's have a look what we have here. We have a shuckle. Looks like we got something good in this one. And we have a Rillaboom VMAX. So that's our second VMAX of the box. Uh, very nice indeed. We're guaranteed two VMAXs from what I've seen in everybody's videos. So nice to pull a second one. Still looking for our SR or better, and I think we should have at least three more V cards as well. So we're doing pretty well. I think we've pulled most of the hollows we're going to pull out of this pack. It's really strange because I've seen people getting uh, eight V or better hits. That means they're only getting seven hollows. So there's more hits than hollows in this. There's twin energy. Now, this is not double colorless energy because you can't attach it to your V or GX cards. So this is to power up anything. That's not a V, so it does make some more cards that probably were lost some power when um, 
double colorless rotated out to be more viable again so quite a useful card indeed to have um we have indeedy again and yes another hollow and this time it is grimsnarl grimsnarl is getting its own v card soon and our own starter deck in japan so we will probably see that in one of our english sets but here is grimsnarl hollow for now so very nice pop that up back there i have got the grimsnarl uh, v max and grimsnarl and the charizard v max decks on order so i will do a video of those when they arrive i think they're coming at end of march so we got one more set before that comes out so we got um s2 coming out before that and then we should have those and i think s2a um i've got two books i've got two boxes of everything ordered from uh next set onwards i only ordered one of these but i might order another box depending on how this opening goes another vicar vault we've got one of those to begin with so we're doubling up on the hollows uh, which we don't really want to do because there's only um eight so i'm probably gonna have to get obtain some singles which isn't great uh, nine tails uh magikarp uh snowball i think and there's a training corp okay I think we're, we're, we're more than halfway through the second half of this box. I think we've got something here, probably a hollow charger bug. Yes, it is. It is this guy, which is Drulladon. That's it, Drulladon. There is a promo of Drulladon out in Japan as well. Um, one of the, the promo cards, which um, yeah, is available to add i think it's one of the earlier promo cards that's come out so yeah cool oh right there we go so we have got one of the evolved starters which as you can see are basics in this set and it is inteleon to go with our inteleon v max so very nice indeed teleon is the sniper pokemon uh, as the v max sort of signifies it is a bit of a uh, guy that uh, is totally different from its initial form there's another arita material arita card mr rhyme again okay so we're down to five packs left and we still haven't got our sr or better card okay stun tank this is fantastic because it's some so so artwork which i was so looking forward to getting so very happy to get that one another one of those for my folder and we have rillaboom which is very playable from what i understand uh, so this is quite popular uh, in Japan at the moment, the people are building Rillaboom decks, so quite a popular card to get. So very happy we've got that. A Bomber Snow, Bronzon, I think, a Charger Bug, Volpix, very cute Volpix, and Twin Energy again. Three packs to go. Okay, where is this card? Where is this SR card or better? Is it here? Um, we've got something in this one. Let's see what we have. We have got a stun thing and we have a Baltor, Baltund, Baltund V card. It's a very nice indeed. Great looking V card. So how many Vs is that now? I think that's four. So, or is it five? I've lost count. Wow, okay, I've still not, okay. This pack hasn't got anything shiny by the looks of it i've just done the pack trick skylar it's all down to this the last pack and i did not rig this i've okay last pack let's see what we've got in here okay it's definitely our um sr or better yes i got another one of these one for my folder one for my master set um mr mime galerian mr mime that thing and yeah oh my gosh okay i am over the moon this is the chase card i wanted Woo! this card's going for a 50 pounds at the moment um 70 dollars or so i think and this was the card i so wanted to pull i was like i need to pull this otherwise it's gonna take me ages to find it oh yes sonia full art one of the top oh my god I got the card I wanted. Yes. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. Okay, guys. Right. Have a look at that. Beautiful artwork. And we all know that this is going to be a chase card in Japan, which is why the price always stays up. They always like their uh, female characters. And um, you know, I collect support cards anyway. So I am so, so happy that I've pulled this. Look at the texturing on that absolutely fantastic let's summarize what we've got 
Um, so let me just sort out the pulls and we'll do that now. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember guys, if you're new to my channel, please do like, comment, subscribe, open lots of Japanese stuff. I'm still thinking about whether I should get a second box or not. But as I've got the card I wanted, I could actually, because I don't need to now budget for this, I could actually go and buy a second box. So I might do that or even a third. We'll see how it goes. But let me sort these all out for you. Uh, then we can show you what the pulls are in order. And let's put these all in numerical order so it's easier to see what we have got and then we can summarize okay so like i said let's have a look at what the back of one of these packs we have um eight hollows six v three v max okay so of the eight hollows we have got one two there's a double three four five six seven so we're missing one of the hollows which isn't too bad i'm, I'm not too upset about that uh, we doubled up on one which is very strange um out of the six uh v cards i've got rillaboom intellion boltand and sandaconda so four of the six we have got rillaboom v max uh intellion v max so we're missing cinderace v max but the card of the opening oh my god Sonia full art everyone who follows me knows how much I love full art supporters so this is my dream box my dream pull so pleased with this so hope you guys have enjoyed this video like comment subscribe check out my son's channel poking a hole he opens English stuff he's opened a lot of sword and shield recently so his videos are going live on his sword and shield stuff and I will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching bye